Hi, I'm Alex Pollock, Chief Investment Officer of Loftus Peak. Welcome to Update Plus, a quick tour around the grounds of the big disruptive trends that are driving business and our portfolios. Well, the standout move this month was from NVIDIA, and it's time we put that in perspective. Just this year, the price has moved from a low of $146 a share to hover just below $500 a share, taking the company from a value of $350 billion all the way up to $1.2 US trillion. What drove this was a quarterly revenue upgrade of 100% to $13.6 billion. This is one of the largest single upgrades in dollar stroke percentage terms ever. Other companies have had larger increases in dollars, but with smaller growth. NVIDIA distinguished itself by being a big company growing 100% at the revenue line. So, is this credible? Well, there's no suggestion either by NVIDIA or its customers that there is any slowdown in revenue growth, at least until 2025. A formal look at the analyst valuations shows NVIDIA is highly likely to make $17 a share in two years, six times the EPS from last year, suggesting a PE of around 30. And just last week, Google brought NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wang onto stage in person to the assembled throng and online. The optics of this are very powerful. CEO Wang was there to prove to Google's shareholders developers, staff and users that the code red that Google had earlier called was being taken very seriously and being actioned at the highest levels. Google cut a deal with NVIDIA in which the company effectively resells NVIDIA's cloud under its own brand. Google, along with Amazon, has traditionally been one of the front runners in custom silicon, but now Google joins cloud titans Microsoft, Oracle and others in submitting to NVIDIA's DGX cloud. Only Amazon's AWS has yet to sign up to the Jensen program. The really big winner, of course, is NVIDIA. Its coffers will bulge with AI dollars over the next few quarters at least. This has been Update Plus. I'm Alex Pollock. See you next month.